<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Dragons in Arm Wrestling. Today we're going to be discussing one of the fundamentals of arm wrestling, which is cup, how to perform it, what it is, and how to work it out. All right, so the cup comes from a you know a couple different uh, ways. You can attack. Well, first, what it looks like is just cup with your hand. Is that right there? And I'll do it on my side so you guys can see it a little better. Um, it's just the process of wrist wrist flex wrist flexation. Um, a couple ways to work out the cup comes from it comes from two different points. It is coming from either the fingertips or from the wrist itself. So it'd be wrist flexation versus finger flexation. Um, what that looks like when you're trying to build up the finger side of it is cupping like this. So you're still getting it in the wrist, but it is targeting the fingertips. And then, um, and Cody will show this one later, but this is cupping through the, uh, cupping through the hand. So basically with this one, what it helps really is just when you're in a match, you can contain before you ever even have to really get to your sheer wrist flexation. So with just your fingertips, you can contain before he ever even really attacks my wrist itself. With this handle, it's a lot better for your sheer wrist flexation. Uh, I like a little bit thinner of a handle. That way, if your fingertips are already strong, you can work just your wrist flexation itself. And I like, that's, why, that's why I like a smaller handle. That way, the limiting factor isn't your fingertips. Like if I were to grip down here, the limiting factor might be my fingertips. Where here, my limiting factor is my wrist flexation. So I'm only going to be working that wrist flexation. And then this is another thing that's good because you can let it out under your fingers, way down, curl it back. And this works really well if you lay it over your knee and then wrist curl it that way. And I'll add to that is a, um, the big barbells that you would use for bench press, if you lay on a bench um, like that, and you can lay your arm like this, and then come down on it like this, you can do exactly what he was doing there. And this is, with the big barbell, it also swings in this way, so you'll get a lot of pronation, supination control in each of your cups. If you guys like that content, comment down below, like and subscribe, and see you guys on the next one.